Looney Farm Guy here with an update to the John Deere S700 series by JHHG modding 66.87 megabytes to download. They are 40 slots each on console. This is for all platforms. I'm on PS5, the reason for the slots really. And um, this is a pack of two. Uh, pack of two harvesters um, and we're covering the update to this in this video I will tag the original uh, review test video at the end of this video however changelog 1.002 the LSW 1100 1250 and 1400 floaters were added uh, the model year 2022 version has been added the 75th John Deere Combines Anniversary Edition which we have here um, I'm not sure just I think it just adds a little decal like that uh, we'll check that out uh, new 2022 LED work lights uh, X, X9 ladder style configuration that's interesting we'll show that um, and then uh, realist, more realistic safety labels for North American versions, normal map improvements, flexible hoses, hoses uh, for power cast and, uh, and power cast tailboard and other bug fixes. So, <clears throat> first of all, let's find it in the vehicles and harvesters. And here they are. So the the S seven eighty to seven ninety series two hundred sixteen thousand dollars up to six hundred and twenty five horsepower, um, and all those things down there up to twenty two thousand nine hundred and five liters of capacity, and as I said, forty slots. So what was added? Wheel brands Lizard has added. Uh, it appears these are quite wide already off the bat and we can go wider and then the back tires there's some options for rear assist and then a wider wider and then to track so this one this one and this one i believe are the new tires if i am assessing that correctly also we have the uh the flags added on the side flag configuration yes there we go i missed that in the initial so we have the North American well we have so we have the North American style I guess you could say with the warning uh, Australia and then South America see the warning labels I guess that's why they say the warning labels mm, so just a minor thing and then we have the uh, North American flag <laughs> it's funny they doesn't call it the American flag, the North American flag, which actually includes Mexico and Canada, if you want to be technical about North America. But anyways, the United States of America flag, the Canadian flag, which is also in North America, the Australian flag, which is not in North America, and the Brazilian flag, which is actually in South America, but South America has many countries. But in this case, it has a Brazilian flag, labeled as South American flag right so just being a little a little a snooty really being a little funny but anyways <clears throat> um, then we have the regular vein tailboard and standard and then advanced power cast tailboard apparently he added flexible hoses for that also mentioned flexible hoses for GPS foldable monitor which um, let's see here, ladder, production, year, specifications, numbers, wheel. I don't see an option to add or subtract that. We have the ladder, oh, the ladder, yes, the foldable ladder, that was also added there. So we're going to take a look at that. Right, okay, so let's, let's hop in. And notice, uh, notice the ladder. So it's lowered right now. So if we pretend to jump in here, co oops, pretend to, well, we're not pretending. We're going to climb up there and get in. And the ladder automatically tucks and folds like so. Nice, eh? Uh, so we'll start it up. And when we unfold, 
the harvester, that kind of goes out to there. But it's still tucked away, so if we, right, unfolds, get in, it folds up, da ding, out of the way, very nice. Okay, so let's back around and uh, disable the straw swath so that we can have a look at. So I do believe there is a little hose like that. That's the only flexible hose I could see that may have been added there. As for inside, oh, there we go. The, the, the monitor comes down when you get in. So there's a little wire behind that I think was added. Other than that, I think it's pretty much the same. Nothing's changed really noticeably anyways. Right, so um, I've affixed or fitted the largest tires and I put on a base game header, the smaller one, John Deere header. Make sure everything's still working and all that sort of thing. We have the uh, advanced tailboard on here. And everything seems to be working fine. Same with this one here. No binding or anything like that with it. Sometimes when there's updates and changes and tires and stuff like that, things tend to get mixed up a little bit, but not in this case. No surprises here. Everything seems to work very nicely with both models. Oh yes, we didn't look at the other, did we? <laughs> the uh, 760 and 770, well, which is essentially really everything the same on the other one um, is true for this one. We have the tires, the three, the three sizes of tires, and then we go to the tracks in Lizard. So that's the LSW style tires there. Um, the the flags also available and the ladder option so like literally everything that was on the other one is on this one just the uh, the capacity grain tank capacities are a little bit less this and the horsepower is a little less for maximum horsepower this is a smaller version basically oh yes the lights very nice bright lights. They improved the lighting apparently on this model and the other one LED style work lights. So perhaps a little a little bit brighter now. Excuse me. Um yeah. There you go. Very nice. A nice little machine actually. Very nice. Um and now improved and that is we'll go back up to the top of the page the John Deere S700 series by JHHG Modi modding 66.87 megabytes to download and 40 slots each on console thank you all for watching I'm Looney Farm Guy oh yes and the 75 year anniversary edition right available just the sticker I think um, anyways thanks for watching and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now